all righty what is going on you guys it's your boy white album here and today i am bringing you guys something a little bit special man as you can see i am on tekken 8 and today i decided you know what i haven't seen uh much of the rage arts in this game actually i haven't seen them at all so i decided you know let's react to some of these man um and we're gonna give them just a rating like s to s rank to d rank you know s being the best d rank being the worst because again i haven't seen a lot of these due just to, due to just popular uh what due to character popularity is what i try to say <laughs> so we're just gonna go through the whole cast and see what they got going on man so before we get into it if this is your first time on my channel man like comment and subscribe click the bell icon for any notifications for whenever i for whenever i upload there we go <laughs> let's let's try to be professional here uh, but with that being said man let's get started all right, here we go. First up, we got the girl Alyssa. So let's see what we got going on here. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, that's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. That's actually pretty cool. What the hell? Hold on. Hold on. So she okay. So she hacks you up with her with her chainsaws. Huh? Huh? Oh, then she fucking just soccer punching her fucking head at you and does an explosion. That's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool. That's actually pretty sick. I like that one. Uh, let's watch it one more time, shall we? Uh, uh, and then uh, I will say that if there's one thing I wish she kind of did though, I kind of wish she uh did a little bit more hack and slash with her chainsaws. Oh, that's really cool, man. I, I, uh, I'm gonna give that one an A. That one, that one's pretty good. I, I like that one. I, I like that one. I like that one. That was pretty cool. All right, next up is Asuka. Let's see what she got going on. This was like my first time seeing this one, so. That was it? That was a little lame. Hold on. So she hits you with the back fist, knocks you up into the air. <laughs> I mean, I like, the, I like the camera work. That was that was pretty cool. And I kind of like how they bounce, but I feel like there was like you know, for how like much she like like for how like hard she punches you. There's not like a lot of impact in my opinion. Huh. That was okay. That was that was okay. That was it was it wasn't bad, but I, I think it was kind of simple, but not in a good way. I feel like I, I don't know. Was there? I don't know if there was anything else they could do with her, but it was it was okay. I think I'm, a, I'm gonna give that like a C. I'm gonna give it a C. It was, it was okay. It was okay. All right, up next we got the girl Azucena. Let's see what we got going on here. I've seen this one because I play a lot of against a lot of Azucenas, and I do like this one. Of the kick, and then watch this. Oh, okay, no, it only happens. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, it only happens when um, <laughs> when they do uh, when the when it's like the final hit, where uh, <laughs> it's like it, it's like a promo to her to her coffee. Add, let's let's see, let me see if I can get it. Let's see if I can get it. So here we go. Here we go. Uh, stop moving, Kazuya. Stop moving, buddy. There we go. Let's see. Hopefully we can get it. Uh uh. Uh. Let's see. Does it do it? Yeah, there it is. That's so sick. I love that, man. I love that. I love that. For, I know a lot of people don't like this character, but I think she has like one of the cooler supers in the in the game. I think that, that that's a that's like an S to me. I I really like that one because it's like it really brings out her personality because she is like a really like she's like really into coffee. I mean that's the damn nickname they gave her is the Coffee Queen. So the like so the fact that they gave her like an ad at the end of her super when you defeat somebody is so sick, man. I, yeah, again that that's an S plus for me. That's an S plus for me. Or, S. That's an S for me. All right, next up we got the boy Brian Fury. Let's see what we got going on. Damn, you see his muscles get all like ripped up. 
Oh, that's sick. What the hell? Yeah, because he's a cyborg, right? I don't know a lot about this game's lore, but I, that's like the one thing I know that he's a cyborg. That was pretty cool. Like, that was simple, but like in a good way, where like compared to like Asuka's, where it's like it's simple, but not good. This one is simple, but good, in my opinion. Like, let's see. Uppercut, machine gun punches, the lock on, and then like the like the Superman punch. Yeah, I like that one. That that one's pretty sick. Again, it's simple, but it's good. It's it's a good simple. It's a good simple. Uh, I'm gonna give that one a an A. I think that, I think that's a good I think that's a good one for him. That was pretty cool. That was pretty sick. I liked it. I liked it. All right. Next up is Claudio. I've actually never seen Claudio's because I. I only went up against him once in ranked, and I don't think the guy ever hit me with it. I mean, to be fair, he did beat the shit out of me with him, so. <laughs> Here we go, we got Claudio. Nah, so they gave him the fucking Quincy powers? What? They gave him like the Uryu fucking Quincy shit? That's so sick. What the hell? Nah, that's so cool, bro. That's like, that's literally like some bleach shit, bro. That's something like Uryu would do in bleach. I love this. Hold on, I gotta see that. I gotta see that one more time. That This is an S for me personally. Because I like bleach, so the fact that it's like, I don't think it's obvious, I don't think it's an homage to bleach, but like, just thinking like in that like aspect, it's so sick. That's an S for me, man. That's an S. I, I love that one. That's an S for me. That's an S for me, man. That's so sick. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. Next up is Devil Jin. Let's see what this guy's got going on. He looks sick as shit, too. Huh? Damn, he talked your ass. What the fuck? Oh, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Hold on. I like the, like, the visceral yell that he does. Before he slashes down on you with his fucking darkness blade or whatever the fuck you want to call it. He's got you chained up. That was pretty cool. I, I like that one. I think that's an A, personally. I don't... Uh, I don't think it's as cool as fucking Claudio's. That's because I'm going a little bit more biased because I like the, 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 the somewhat reference I think they were going for. I don't think it's a reference, but I like Claudio's just more because of the aspect. But this wasn't too bad either. I liked it. It's like, again, it's simple, it's quick, but it's very flashy. I like that one. I like that one. Let's watch it one more time. I'm gonna give this one an A. I think I think A is good for this one for me personally. Huh? Fucking put an end to this. <laughs> it's so sick. I like that one. I like that one. All right. All right. Up next is Drago Move. All right. Let's see. Oh shit, the Jotaro pose? Hell yeah, dude. I love that. Oh, that was a cool effect. Like the, 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 the ice, like the ice breaking. That was pretty cool. Uh, that was okay. Hold on. I, I mean, I just love the pose because I'm a big Jojo fan. So the, you know, the, the Jojo, like the Jotaro pose is so sick. Charges up the overhead, smashes it. I love that effect. That effect is so cool. That effect is pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna give that one a B. It was it was okay. Uh, I don't know if they could have done anything better with it, but I like that one. It was it was, it was okay. It was okay. Yeah, I think B is fine for that one. Here we go. Feng Wei. I've actually never seen his before. So this is gonna be my first time seeing this one. Beast your eyes. Mm. Damn. <laughs> that was sick. I like that. Does the does the kick so hard? He kicks you down to the ground so hard, pops you up. He charges up his fucking chi. Oh, the dragon effect is so clean. I like that one. That's that's sick. That one's cool. One more time. One more time. I think I'm gonna give that one an A. I like this one. Let's see. Huh? None, there are none stronger than me. That's pretty cool. Like the heavenly light pierces through you. 
That's pretty cool. I like his, man. Uh, like I said, I think I'm gonna give that one an A. It's pretty cool. It's flashy, but not like super flashy. All right, now we got Huarang. Huarang. Boomerang. However you want to say his name. I just want to say one thing, though. Uh, even though I'm not, like, the biggest Tekken fan out there. Not that I don't... Not that I dislike it. Uh, I love his redesign. I think his redesign is the best in this game. Because I don't really care. Like, I don't... What was the whole thing with the eye patch in Tekken 7? I don't get that. So I, I really like this uh, redesign for him. It looks super sick. It looks so good. Easily the best up there next to Jax, but we haven't gotten to Jack just yet. So here we go. Rage art with the boy Huarang. Mm. Okay, he does skyrocket. That's pretty sick. Mm. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. It's kind of like uh, that ending kind of reminds me of um, of like, uh, who is it? I'm trying to think of like um, kind of like uh, is it like almost like Cammy's in Street Fighter uh, Sixes, where she just beats the hell out of you and does like that final like kick. That's what kind of reminds me of. I like that. Uh uh uh. The tornado kicks. Then like just the axe kick on the skull with that cool visual effect. I like that one, man. Uh, again, it's simple. It's simple, but it's a good simple. So I'm gonna give it a B. I like that one. I like that one. Let's watch it one more time. Hmm. Also, like the weird like claw marks. I know like his nickname is like Blood Talon or something like that. But uh, if you've ever seen um like Power Rangers, uh, what is it? Jungle Fury. Or in, uh, or in, you know, Sentai, it's called Geki Ranger. Uh, the Rhino, he kind of has like that, like that same like marking on his shoulder. It's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, it's a B. It's a B. It's a, it's simple but good. It's a good symbol. It's a good symbol. I like it. There we go. Jack A. Speaking of awesome redesigns, I love Jack's redesign in this game, dude. Oh, that's not what I wanted to press. <laughs> not what I wanted to press. But I think yeah, I think his redesign in this game is super good, dude. Like I didn't. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't really care for like the whole like weird, I don't say weird, but like the um like the uh like the tank top that he was rocking. I know a lot of like obviously legacy players are gonna like that one, but I love his redesign in this game. His redesign in this game is so fucking good. Up again, up there with Harongs. I think those are like the top two best redesigns in this game. But here we go, we got it with the boy Jack. Damn. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? That's sick. He summons his like fucking, uh, what is that thing called? Like his fucking beam cannon. Uh-huh. Charges it up. I love, oh, dude, that's so, I love the camera work of it just going down the barrel. It's so sick. And I like the little, like, uh, Ender, where he like he gets like knocked back from the explosion. That's pretty cool, man. I'm gonna give that one a. I'm gonna give that one an S. I like it. I like the cinematic work for it. Like the camera work for it, it's so good. Uh, knocks up into the air. The giant fucking rocket gun comes in, charges down the barrel, blows him up, and blows him back with the with the shockwave. That's pretty sick. I like that one. Yeah, that that's an S for me, man. That's an S. I like that. I like that. All right, here we go. We got the main character himself, Jin. Kazama. Let's see what my man's rocking here. Alright, does the electric. Oh, the wing is badass. Ooh, is that it? Hold on. I think this one is also another one that has like a, a secret ender, I guess you want to call it. Uh, man, that feels super safe. I don't, I don't know. Cause he does the electric. He calls out his devil powers and then he just, uh, that was kind of lame in my opinion. I don't know how I feel about this one. Like it's got the impact from when he does like his like charge punch at you. But it, I don't know. Something about that just felt lackluster. I'm gonna give that one like a C. 
Like, it's not like Asuka's bad, but it's like, it, I feel like they could have done so much more with Jin. You know, like, for, for Christ's sake, look at Devil Jin's. This was so sick. He changed you up and then he slices you down with his fucking uh, darkness blade or whatever the fuck you want to call it. And then this one was just like a simple uppercut or the simple electric into a punch. Yeah, uh, yeah, that was like, I'm gonna give that one a C. That was a little lackluster. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan of that one. I feel like they could have done way better with that one, especially for Jin. Come on, man. He's the, he's the damn main protagonist. Come on, that's what you're gonna do to him? All right, next we got Mama June. Apparently, she's like a real hassle on ranked, but I have, I've only ever ran into one, and I'm gonna be honest, he wasn't good. Uh, But here we go. Mama June, let's see what she got going on here. A little birdie. Damn. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. Okay. She like, yeah, she's like an exorcist or something, right? That's like the one thing I know about her. Uh, that was, again, that was simple, but I think it's a good simple where, you know, she like comes out of the, I like the, I like the effects and camera work that they did here where she's like coming out of the mist and then, wow, that sound, hold on, hold on. Let me hear that again. That sound design is pretty sick. Hold on. I like that. I like the way that like the hum. You hear that? Like I like that hum that happens. That's like uh, kind of like JoJo esque, like King Crimson type sound effect. I like that one. Um, again, it's simple. It's simple. I like it though. I like it because again, she's like purifying the evil within you. And considering that Ka uh, the Kazuya's her fucking husband, and um, yeah, <laughs> we know how that that's all about. But uh, it's pretty, it's okay. It's a, uh, it's good. It's safe. Uh, I'm gonna go with B for that one. Uh, it was okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with the B. I'm gonna stick with the B for it. All right, now we got the boy Kazuya himself. Uh, I like how the opposite color is uh, white. All right, hold on. Here we go. Stop doing that. All right, here we go. What the fuck? Why am I sidestepping? Just hit him. There we go. Ooh, I like the ending there. That was pretty sick. All right, that was a good one. I like that one. The don't get cocky. Punches you in the solar plexus, locks, launches you up with the eyeball, slams to the ground, and then does like the the heel kick to your fucking gut. That was pretty cool. I have seen this one online, um, and like the the special ending, he like he like kicks you or something like that, uh, which I do like because it's Kazuya. He's a dickhead, so he he does he like kicks you away. Uh, but I like this one. It was actually pretty good. One more time here. I like how his eye glows red too. That little like cocky ass uh, laugh they, or uh, like chuckle he did. You heard that? I like that one. I'm gonna give that one an uh, I'm gonna give that one an A. I like that one. I mean, it's Kazuya, right? Not too bad. I like that one. That was pretty cool. There we go. King Goo. Let's see what King's got rocking here. You see, he's got he's a wrestler, so hopefully we can see some cool shit. Oh, the fucking the fucking flex. Damn, hold on. Did you see like the muscle definition, the veins? That was sick. Ooh. Wow, that was pretty, that was pretty cool. Hold on. I was, I was like talking cause like the, the, I love like the startup there. Watch the startup again. Look at that. You see the veins pop out. It's so good, dude. All right, knocks you up, throws you to the air. What the hell is that position? I like the legs are like weirdly locking in. Oh, this one's pretty cool. I like this one. Uh, uh. That was pretty cool. I wish he would have done something like a little bit more hardcore. Like what if he did like a backbreaker? Like, a, like you know, like how Bane did the Batman. Like he just, you know, back breaks them over his knee. That would have been a cool ending there. In my opinion, in my personal opinion, I think that actually would have been really cool to see. But King is a good guy, so he's not going to do that. Come on now. Uh, one more time. One more time. 
That's all like the fire effects too in the background. I just saw that. That was pretty cool. I'm um, I'm gonna give that one a B. Uh, I thought they could have maybe done something a little bit more, uh, like dramatic. I don't know. It was cool though. I like that one. I'm gonna give that one a B. All right, we got Kuma, big old fucking bear here. <laughs> I see. Nah, he hit you with the gall swing with the fucking fish. What the fuck? A little like, ugh, I didn't know that was gonna happen. What the hell? That's what the fuck? Hold on. So this fucking fish is not like an edible fish. It's a fucking like rocket torpedo salmon. <laughs> That's cool, man. That's like it's like super silly, but I think it kind of works for this character because it, it's a fucking bear. Come on now, let's be honest. It's a bear, but I like that, man. He fucking Tiger Woods you into the air with the salmon and then he just stares at it. And it turns into this fucking like rocket fish. That's pretty. That's funny. That's funny. I like that one. I'm going to give that one an A. I'm going to give that one an A. Yeah, it feels right. But like that, I like that one. Hold on. I'm going to watch it one more time. One more time. One more time. Uh. -huh. And he's just like, let me hold this here. <laughs> And then you get fucking heated into space. Oh no! <laughs> I like that one. Yeah, that's that's an A. That's an A. It's, it's okay. I like it. It's an A. It's an A. All right. Next up, we got Lars. This is another one I've actually never seen before. So let's see what we got going on. Oh, that was that, okay. That was pretty sick. That was pretty sick. Hold on, I like that, like the lightning effect. And I, I guess that that makes sense why he calls out uh, Kazuya because they're, they're they're brothers, right? They're like half brothers. Hold on. Then, uh. Oh, I love like the POV effect of like the thunderbolt or the lightning bolt. I like that. Holy shit! Hold on. Huh? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, dude, that effect is so cool. I wish the explosion was a bit bigger. I don't know. I wish the explosion was a bit bigger, but I like this one. This one's sick. Ooh, excuse me. Uh, uh, uh. Well, you know that kind of reminds me of back in like um, it was like in the one of the Naruto Ninja Storm games, like Kakashi. He kind of had like that, uh, what, what do you call it? The, the twin lightning shiver. That's what it kind of reminds me of. It's pretty sick. Like he does like a lightning blade type thing. I watch. Uh, speed up. Uh, 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 uh. Then the lightning blade into the ground and then the explosion. I wish the explosion was a bit bigger, but I, I'm going to give that one an S. That was sick. I actually really like that one. I like the, I love the visuals on that too. Here we go. We have the boy Marshall Law. Now, I do want to show this one again, but when you actually defeat someone because it's a Bruce Lee reference and it's so sick. Well, here we go, man. Here we go. That's what I've seen a few times. I do like this one. It's actually one of my favorite ones in the game. Uh uh uh. Rocks you out with the nunchucks. Then the stomp. Like, that's so sick. But he does like the little face at the end that, like, that Bruce Lee does in the uh, Enter the Dragon movie. Hold on. So I I'm going to switch that. I'm gonna I want to show you guys that one. Right, here we go. Here we go. Hold on. Hold on. I was trying to like get it so I didn't get what's it called, <laughs> get timed out, but there we go. There we go, watch this. Huh? Uh, and then wa watch the face, watch the face. Nah, that's so sick. That's so sick. That's an S. I, it's an S just because of the Bruce Lee reference, man. Come on now. I mean, to be fair, this character literally is Bruce Lee, but it's so sick. That's an S for me. That's an S for me. There we go. Next up is the boy Lee. Let's see what he's got going on here. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Ooh, short time. Uh-uh. Oh, that's sick. I like that. I like that. The, the, the rose at the end was pretty cool. Hold on. Uh-huh. 
throws the grenade then the rose <laughs> oh what the fuck i just realized he winks at you what hold on hold on he winks at you okay so the kicks uh-uh those little birthday grenade at you that makes the rose nah that's sick that, uh, that's that's sick i like that one that's an a i like that one it, it's flashy but not like super flashy and it's good uh yeah that's an a i just like it because of the 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 wink the thumbs up and the wink at the end and plus that big ass rose is pretty sick too is that what what's the whole thing about him and roses is like what's what's that whole thing about does he just like that shit? i don't know all right here we go next up is leo i've actually never played against this guy but here we go uh -huh. what That's lame. What the fuck? So he, he swings around fucking Nathan Drake style and then he does like an elbow finisher on you? Huh? Simple punch. That fucking sucks. Uh, sorry. Sorry, Leo Mains. This fucking sucks, dude. This is a D, bro. This fucking sucks. What? The uh, the punch, and then the what? Where the fuck does he even use this? No, this fucking sucks. This one sucks. This is terrible. This is a. I know I was talking about how like Asuka's was like simple, yet yeah, but not a good simple. This one's simple, but fucking trash simple. Like, what the hell? Y'all couldn't think of anything better for this kid? Yeah, that's a D, bro. That's the first D, I think. That's This is terrible. All right, here we go. We got the boy Leroy. It's funny, because there was actually one point in time where this where this character actually almost got me to get Tekken 7. Uh, I didn't, though. Uh, I kind of just went back to whatever NRS game was out at the time. I think it was either MK11 or Injustice 2. Uh, one of those. I think it was MK11. God damn it. Is that how long that game's been out, man? Fucking hell. But uh yeah, I, I almost I almost got Tekken 7 because of this character. He just looks so fucking sick, man. Come on, the swagger, the fact that he's a Win Chun master. Come on, dude. What's not to love about this character? But I never I never did end up getting the game for this character. I think I ended up getting the game because it was like on sale. And like I think one of like the first characters I tried to pick up was uh Anna Williams. And apparently she's not like the easiest character to use and i was never told this being that tekken 7 would have actually been my like my first tekken game uh and she was like a stance character yeah i i never played the i i learned like one simple combo with her i said yeah this game's not for me and i just never played it i just went back to like i think i, I want to say mk11 but um but yeah i almost got tekken 7 because of this character so let, let's see Let's see if he still lives up to the hype with his uh, rage art. <laughs> this is gonna hurt. Huh. No, no, the dragon. No, that was a. Yo, he called. Does he say that to everybody? Hold on. This man just called Kazuya a fucking degenerate. <laughs> no way. Hold on, hold on. I was I was too distracted by that. I was too distracted by that. I wanna I wanna see it again. Uh-uh. 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 Damn bro. Oh the like the one inch punch. That's sick. Oh the black dragon the black dragon is such a cool effect on that. Damn, so far that's two characters with like the dragon effects and Leroy easily tops uh, Feng Wei's super. That's that. Uh, is it an S? Is it an S? Uh, no. Uh, I'm gonna give it an S. I'm gonna give it an S. I like it. I like it. I really like it. But wait, does he say that to everybody about the degenerate thing? Hold on. Oh, 
Hold on. Does he does he say that to everybody? Or is it just specifically Kazuya? That's crazy. Hold on, let's see. Okay, so it's instantly different. Like Steel Strike. Okay, so this man has it out for Kazuya, bro. I mean, then again, Kazuya is like the biggest dickhead in like any fighting game, but yo. <laughs> The fact that he calls fucking Kazuya a degenerate is crazy, dog. Talk about some like next level like hate there, bro. My man said you degenerate. Now I think just because against Kazuya that's an S, but I think normally it's a it's an A. It's an A. That's how it's gonna go for me. But Kazuya it's an S, but uh but against the rest of the cats it's an A. It's an A, but. Because the, uh, it, this is gonna hurt, and then the fucking you degenerate is so sick. Yeah, I like that one. That, that, it's an A, but it's an S against, uh, against Kazuya. All right, next up, we got Miss Lily. Let's see what hers looks like. No. no way. I like this one. This, this, it's simple, but it's a good simple. It's a, it's simple, but it's a good simple. Dude, they fucking straight up stole that from fucking Manon. What the hell? Cause in uh, Street Fighter 6, Manon does like the whole like putting the uh putting the opponent to like uh ballerina stances. And it's the same thing that they gave to Lily. Hold on, let's see. She does a little schoolgirl giggle. Now watch this. Yeah, bro, what the fuck? That's such a Manon thing. And then they gave her Guile's fucking finisher from Street Fighter. So they gave her Guile's flash kick in her ender. Uh, I like that one. It's simple, but it's a good simple, man. Uh, I think it's a B, personally. I think that's a B. I like it. Hold on. So the, uh, the one, two, three, like Manon. And then the flash kick. Oh, the I do. I like that. I like that. Yeah, it's a B. I like that one. It's simple, but it's a good simple. I like this one. I really like this one. All right, there. All right, let's go, Lily. Okay. All right, Miss Nina Williams. D Do y'all see this jiggle physics? Nah, son. That's diabolical, bro. <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Uh, I was. I might have to pick this character up. I might. I don't know. I might have to pick this character up, you guys. <laughs> All right, well, here we go. Let me let's let's not distract. Let's not distract ourselves here with the jiggle physics, ladies and gentlemen. We're, we're trying to we're trying to react to these supers. So here we go. I've actually never fought of Nina. So it's gonna be the first time seeing this. Mm, that was OK. It's like Shoots you a bunch in the back like Laura Croft and then does like a palm strike to your chest that I'm assuming stops your heart. Oh, I do like the vid I like the like the final impact though. That was pretty cool. Hold on. Uh -huh. yeah, so she runs up, does the bullets in the back. I like that effect though. I, I will say like it's 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 kind of, I don't know, it's kind of lame in my opinion, but I like the visual effects of it. I like the vid because like when she does like the, the palm strike and like the, the negative effect happens and then like the explosion happens. I like that. I like the, I like the visuals of this one, but I think it's, uh, it's kind of lackluster, uh, but I, it's pretty good. So I'm gonna give it a B. I think it's better than like Jin's and, uh, and Asuka's. It's definitely better than Leo's, but, um, but it's okay. I, I, again, I like the visual effects of it, and I kind of like the, the the sound design of it as well. But the visuals, are actually, I think the visuals are what kind of bumped this one up for me. So it's a B. It's a B. I like it. Let's, let's watch it one more time. Mm -mm. Yeah, that, that, I love that visual effect. It's so good, and then the like the that final impact. I like it. I, I, I like the I like the visuals of it. I like the visuals of it. There we go, Panda. This is a character I have not even seen at all so far. Like, I don't even know if I've ran into one of these. Like, some of them, like, some of the characters I have ran into, 
But like her, I don't even think I've seen one, so I don't even know what the fuck hers looks like to begin with. So here we go. All right, Miss Panda, let's see what you got going on. What the fuck? I Okay, uh, I eh, actually I like that one. I like the <laughs> the, uh, the kick. <laughs> Look, at, uh, big boot. Um, yeah, I like that one. Uh, I kind of like the whole like like little like bouncy ball effect that she does on you. Then they like they go into like the Sonic spin, and then she finishes them off with the palm strike. It's pretty good. Uh, launch into the air. Spins them around really fast. Don't toss them. She waves back at the camera. They come back. I don't like that one. Uh, I'm gonna give that one a B. I don't think it's like super fantastic, but it's a it's pretty good. I, I think it's a B. There we go. We got Paul Phoenix with this new haircut in this game, man. I know there's like I know like his haircut split the community. Everybody was like, yeah, I hate it. They were like, I like it. <laughs> I don't know if anybody said they love it, but they're like, I like it. It's okay. So here we go. The boy, damn. All is fucking tall, dude. Okay. Uh, sorry what about the distraction there, but here we go. Oh, I like that. <laughs> what the fuck is like? Oh, he keeps it too. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Oh, it came back. I like that one. I like the effect when he does like his stance and then like when he like rips his fucking uh, his jacket to show off his big, strong, fucking burly American arm. <laughs> uh -huh. Oof. I like it, but I feel like it's missing something in my opinion. Hold on, what's it missing? Huh? Okay, we got that. I love that part. This part's great. It's it's like missing that impact. I don't know. Like I feel like there should be like some final like big impact when he does like his punch. Cause you got like the cool like rainbow like kanji effect in the back when he does the stance. Then he's got like the big burly arm that pops out of his fucking uh, that literally shreds the arm of his jacket, but then like the punch I felt like it didn't have like that impact, you know, they didn't have like that that impact I'm looking for but, Like that I'm feeling what the hell Phoenix Phoenix Suns Hold on, let's watch it one more time uh, Oops uh, Yeah, it's like missing that impact man. I don't know I still like it though. I love like I love the effects of it. So I'm gonna give that one like a, a B. I feel like if they would have like given him like that big final like impactful explosion at the end, I would have that would have been an A in my opinion. But like the weird like the, like the weird like lackluster ending, it kind of like it really does bring it down for me. So that, that's a that's a B for me. There we go. Ravens. It's funny because again when I picked up Tekken Seven, I when I had dropped uh. Anna, I then went to Master Raven. I'll tell you how that went. <laughs> I feel like the Tekken viewer should be like, yeah, I feel you. <laughs> so here we go. Apparently he's like her protege, so we'll see what we got going on here. What the fuck? Like the Naruto hand singles? What the fuck? The fucking shadow? No, what the fuck? No, that's clean. This is an S. This is an S right here. This, this is an S. S plus. This is sick. What the fuck? Summons like the fucking weird like Ninja Gaiden. What's it called? And then. So that's so sick. This is so sick. What the hell? Hold on. Huh? The summoning seal. The multi shadow clone jutsu, like the big ass kanji and the dude. This is this is so sick, dude. What the? This is an S plus. 
I know my ranking is S to D. No, this is S plus. This, this has to be the best in the game for me personally. Nah, the visuals on this is insane, dude. It's fucking insane. He does like the fucking Kagebushin no Jutsu hand signals and then he does like the like Ninja Gaiden fucking like summoning seal then like the, the, the shadow clones drop out. They beat the shit out of their opponent. And then like he jumps into the air like the big ass Kanji shows up behind them and then Dude, this is fucking sick. Nah, dude, son, this is crazy. Go to hell. <laughs> and they hit us with the nothing personal, kid. Nah, I might have to pick up Raven just for this fucking rage art. God damn. This is easily the best in the game. This is easily the best in the game, dude. I had to, okay, one more time, one more time. No, and like, okay, it also has that really cool impact I was looking for, or Paul's didn't have, his does. Nah, Raven's is easily the best <laughs> little shimmy. <laughs> nah, Raven has the best rage art in the game. That is so fucking cool. That is so fucking cool, bro. I don't... Nah, if you don't think this is the best super or the best rage art in the game, you're one, one, you're lying to yourself, two, you're kidding yourself, and three, you're not playing this character, for sure. Nah, this, that's sick. That's an S+. Plus. That's the first S+. Plus. That's an S fucking plus, dude. That's easily my favorite in the game. All right, next up is Reyna. Uh, she's my main, so I, I've seen this one a bunch of times, but we're just gonna go for it. I'm gonna have a slight bias towards it. Uh, so I'm just gonna go off the bat. It's an A. I like this one. It's it's good. It's really sick. Nope, don't don't kick him. There we go. So here we go. Uh, palm strike. Uh uh. The kick. The fucking lightning blade to the chest. I love like the the ending visual. So so yeah, it's an A. Again, I'm gonna be a little more biased because this is my main. As you can see, I'm vanquisher with her. Oh, excuse me. But uh, for my real degenerates out there and my uh, quote unquote perverts, watch this. Uh, here we go. Get ready for the next battle. All right. So if you are a real degenerate like I am and you play Reyna and she happens to be wearing a mini skirt. Hello! <laughs> little Pantsu shot, little Pantsu shot, but it's an A, it's an A, it's an A, it's an A. I like it though. I, I like it because, again, this is my main. Uh, it's simple but effective. So it's an A, I, I really do like that one. And again, if you're a degenerate like I am. All right, next up is Shaheen. This is another character that I rarely run into. I think I only ran into like two Shaheens, so I might try him out, see what he's, uh, see what he's got, but here we go. Is rage art. Fans Arabic. Oh, cool. Damn, does everybody have it out for Kazuya, bro? What the fuck? What is what is my man's doing to people, bro? Hold on, I was more focused on the uh on him calling out Kazuya, so let me watch that one more time. Damn, he served. He body serves you, and then does like the fucking dynamic entry fucking kick, kind of like Raven. Raven does like the dynamic entry type kick. That was I like that one. Um, I'm gonna give it a. I'm gonna give it a B. I like it. I like it. It's not too bad. Eh, I'm gonna give it an A. I kind of like that one.
I will say the Arabic kind of sounds a little bit too cartoonish to me. I don't know if anybody feels that way. Uh, especially the way like he says it the first time, but I like I like Shaheen's. I might try him out because again, I don't really see Shaheen players a lot, so I might give this character a spin to see what he's what he's got going on. But uh, it's a it's a it's an A. I like that one. All right, next up we got the boy Steve, Stephen Foxworthy. It's just Steve Fox. Don't. don't <laughs> I, I feel like I knew somebody named Stephen Foxworthy though. That'd be crazy if that's the case. But here we go. Here's Rage Art. Now this is what I call fun. Damn. Damn. Oh, that's cool. Like the uh, little little like shockwave at the end was pretty cool. Uh, that's okay. Uh. Uh -uh. I think it gets the job done. Uh -uh -uh -uh. I mean, to be fair, he's fucking, he's lobbing you with these, with like his fucking bare knuckles <laughs> compared like to the boxing gloves he, I think he would normally have. Uh, that was pretty cool. I will say though that voices. Oh, like I know how I said Shaheen's a little, like too cartoony. This is like, like cartoonily like cart tunishly British like it doesn't sound like a real British accent in my opinion that's like no shade to the voice actor whatsoever it just it just sounds like that to me I don't know it just, it just sounds like that to me but here we go one more time uh what, what am I gonna give this uh I'm gonna give it a B it's okay yeah, my man's pecs are just like ripping out a fucking t-shirt dude <laughs> It's a no kill. Yeah, it's, it sounds like it sounds too cartoonish for me, but uh, I like it. I'm gonna give it a B. We got Vic. Damn, Victor's fucking tall, dude. Holy shit. I have played a few Victors, but I have not. I wasn't paying attention to like this man's height. This dude's tall as fuck. Uh, but here we go. Victor's. I've seen this one plenty of times just from going against Victor's on on my casuals and ranked. So here we go. Uh, uh, uh. uh. Pan au chocolat. Mm, I like the I like the ending though. Uh, it's simple, simple but effective. I'm gonna give this one a, a B. I like it. Again, it, it's simple but effective. Uh, I, I kind of like how it kind of uses like almost this whole arsenal. I don't think it uses his gun though, but I do like the visual effect at the end. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, he doesn't use his gun. The Shakamut, the expert. I think that's what he says. <laughs> I will say I love this ending visual because uh, hold on. Let's see if I can pause it when he hits it. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Might be able to. Uh, like that. Hold on. Can I can I get rid of the uh, the menu? Like I can like other games. No, but I, I'm trying to like, I'm not trying to call, I'm trying to call out the colors because like I don't know if this is like a coincidence, but in Valorant the. Like, uh, character chamber who's also a frenchman by the you know by by chance he has like the like the like that color scheme that they gave victor where it's like the orange the purples and like the burgundies i kind of like that i don't know if that's like uh again i don't know if that's a coincidence or not but i like that the two french characters actually have that and plus i actually seen somebody make victor look like chamber from valorant which is pretty cool yes i do play valorant I actually haven't played it in like two months, but I I have I do play Valorant, so we're gonna watch it one more time. I think it's a B. It's simple. I think that's what I said the first time, right? B. But I love that ending visual. Mm. <laughs> the spin. I had to teleports back to like his normal stance. That, yeah, I like it. It's a it's a B. It's a B. It's simple. Okay, what the fuck? Look, look, look at it. Hold on. Before I go into it, look at his knife in his left hand. And then I stop and he flips it. Huh? Huh. <laughs> what the hell? What a weird visual that is. Right, now we have Xiao Yu, the bane of Tekken 8, apparently. Uh, I have gone up against her. And uh, yeah, she's not fun. So here we go. I've actually never seen her rage art. I think I've seen it once, but let's, uh, let's refresh my memory, shall we? Uh, 
That's okay. Nothing too crazy. Hold on. It's okay. It's uh nothing too special. Uh, I'll give that one a C. In my personal opinion, I think I think it just gets the job done just to like finish out the character or like finish out the round. But like, it's nothing too spectacular. One more time. Uh. But the weird tornado effect is weird. I don't know why they gave it that. Uh, yeah, it's a C. It's uh, I feel like, I feel like it could be better. How do you do her? Uh, what's it called? We'll oh, worry about that later. But uh, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's a C. It's a C. All right, next up, we got the boy Yoshimitsu. Let's see what he's got going on. I fought plenty of Yoshis, but I don't. I, don't, I think I've only seen this once, and I know it's badass. But uh, again, let's refresh my memory, shall we? Uh. Oh, that's so sick! Like the classics, like like old school samurai movies. Oh, dude. God damn, it's crazy how they never add like I feel like this character belongs in Samurai Showdown, you know? I don't think he's gonna work, but I mean hell they added bike in, into that game, so I feel like they could add Yoshimitsu. Uh but that's so I love like it's like a, such an homage to like classic samurai films, man. Where it's like it goes into the black and white and then it has like, a big finisher at the end. Yeah, this is an S. Easy S, come on now. Come on. Uh, watch it. Uh, uh. Like you don't even see the blood. It's like black because you know. Again, it's an homage to classic samurai films. Yeah, that's it's an easy S. Come on, for how much of a meme this character can be, it's an S. It's an S. It's an easy S. I don't think it's gonna beat Ravens. I think Ravens is the best in the game, but this one's like a close second. All right, last but certainly not least, Miss Zafina. Another rare character that I don't think I've, I think I've only played like once. I, I played against once. But here we go, let's see her rage art. Oh, what the fuck? Hold on. These sounds are crazy. What the hell? That's pretty sick. What the hell? Hold on. I was, I, what have I done? It sounds like you were, um, DJing yourself <laughs> if I could that's appropriate to say I don't think it is but because the sounds this lady was making was not uh safe for work so hold on let me see so big arm oh what the fuck okay so she summons another arm that oh that's so sick. it's like some like bayonetta type shit you know like if you've ever played bayonetta you know like when you do combos with her and like at the end she has like a punch and like the big ass fucking like fist comes out of nowhere it's kind of like the same thing with zafina's in my opinion i like that one um i like that where she like does the the, the damage and then like the big arm comes out of nowhere that's sick yeah it's like some bayonetta type fucking finisher i like that i'm gonna give that one an a i personally like that I really like that one. One more time. I, I really like this one. That's sick. What the fuck? Again, I don't think it's supposed to be an homage to Bayonetta, but I just like that. You know, you look at that, you can think, oh shit, that's something that, that happened in another game, but that's sick. I like that one. I like the she can't control a type thing, but yeah, I'm going to give that one an A, man. I like that one. I really do like that one. I really do like that one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there we have it, man. That's going to be all of the rage arts in the game, man. Some of those were really good and some of those were really shit, dude. Easily Raven had the best one in the game, man. Easily the best one, dude. That that is the best rage art I think I've seen in any game. It's probably better than uh, Raiden's super and uh, Injustice 2. I don't uh, uh, forgive me if I went on to that different fucking game, but that's what I think is like when I think of a cool finisher, I've always think of Raiden from Mortal Kombat because he's always had like the super cool, like flashy over the top, uh, you know, fatal blows. Um, but dude, Ravens is so sick, man. I fucking love that one. That that's my favorite in the game. I might legitimately pick Raven up just to just to fucking use that just to see that super every time I play him. 
So I, I'll, I'll definitely try them out. I de I'll definitely try them out. Um, who else was like super, like really fucking good? Uh, Claudio's was sick because it's like, it just reminds me of like Uriu from Bleach, like the Quincy effect type, like the, the Quincy fucking bow that he, that he does. It's so sick. Um, Dude, fucking Leroy's is sick, especially against Kazuya, because he calls Kazuya a fucking degenerate. I love that one. Uh, Azucena's is sick because of like the coffee ad at the end. You know, where it's like, it's like, it just says, it's like, how do you like your coffee? And it has like her like family fucking farms. And it, it, I love that one. It's so good. That's another good one. Uh, Laws, come on, man. Law. It's Bruce Lee for fuck's sake, man. Come on. Who, who doesn't love a good Bruce Lee reference now and then? And his was definitely sick, especially at the end. Where he was like, the, you know, he's like, oh, like that shit. I love it. I love it. His is definitely up there. The worst is easily Leo's. I don't know what the fuck they were thinking with Leo's, but Leo's is terrible, man. Leo's is terrible. Like, what the fuck? That's bad. Like, I know I, I, know I said something about like Asuka's being like, simple but bad his was simple but trash like like dog, like you could have given that to any character his is like one of those where you could just give it to any character and be like oh, okay they it's just a super you know or it's just a rage art you know his was not good his was terrible uh again asuka's was okay i feel like it i feel like they should have been more to that jin's was just super lackluster man i feel like something was missing with his like something it was just missing some oomph in my opinion like it was missing that pizzazz that i feel like the main character should have um but it was it's okay again it's lackluster uh nina's was kind of lackluster but i like the visuals effects of that one um jacks was also another really sick one that i like uh and of course reina's i'm gonna like reina's through and through because that's my main for christ's sake i love her she's fun to play but uh, that's going to be it for this, man. Um, yeah, just going in, you know, <laughs> reacting through all these. Again, these were really sick. I really liked um, uh, a good majority of these. Zafina's is another one that I kind of just, I, I know I just saw, but I just forgot about it. Where like, it's just like the big arm that comes out. It's that one, that one's pretty sick, man. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's episode or today's video, you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy, man. Uh, I've been enjoying this game very very much uh, i don't play it often i do i am kind of on and off of with it uh when i'm not feeling like mk1 i will hop on this but to be fair i haven't been feeling mk1 for a hot minute now uh like peacemaker's fun and all but he can only get me so far with that game and i know relatively soon janet she's gonna be dropping but uh you know depending if this you know, I do want to I do want to play the uh, story mode because I have actually not yet played it. I've actually this would be technically my first story mode. I would have played for a Tekken game because I never played Tekken 7's uh, story mode. And I know like the only like cool thing about that was like Heihachi versus fucking Akuma. Like, come on now. Like those are two powerhouses of their respective games beating the living shit out of each other. Come on. That's so badass. But I've actually never, I haven't really, I haven't touched Tekken 8 story. So uh, depending on how many views this video gets, I probably will do a, a playthrough of that um, of that one. I, again, uh, depending on how many views I get on this one, uh, if I don't get like that many, I'll probably just play it on my, for, uh, on my own. But, um, you know, if you guys did enjoy this, you know, comment down below, leave a like down, uh, leave a like down below as well uh that'll you know maybe give me the incentive even more to play the story uh just you know again because i've never played it and i would like i would like to i do want to play it sometime soon but that's going to be the end of today's video guys i hope you guys did enjoy me and mortal kombat youtube play reacting to some tekken man so good old tekken 8 again this game is fun as shit i love it, it it's again if you haven't gotten it i do recommend getting it that's from a diehard Mortal Kombat fan like me. But if you enjoyed, man, like, comment, and subscribe. It is your boy, White Album. I will see you guys next time.